Now, generally, when it comes to working with our documents and using our fonts, most of us are fairly familiar, um, you know, with things like changing the font itself, changing the font size, you know, making things bold, italic, underline, all of that. But just remember that we have something called the font dialog box. So if I go into the font group and I go to the bottom right hand corner, there you can see when I click on that little arrow, it's going to give me this font dialog box. And here you can see I have many more options. Yes, I've still got my font, my style, um, the size, but I've now also got a number of effects that I can add. I can click on text effects that I want to add to that as well. Um, you can see all of them over there. And then I've also got my advanced tab that deals with character spacing, the scale, the positioning, um, a number of different options as well. And this is still all under my font. So if ever you hear them talking about the font dialog box, that's where you go. And those are the options you have at your disposal.